Hey, Dr. Lexi here, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about sunscreen today. Now, we know that sunscreen is very important to keep those UV rays away from us. You can always wear something like a sun shirt, which is what I have on today. It's SPF 50. I did some golfing this morning, and so it's a really nice way to keep the sun a barrier between your skin and the sun. So you can always do stuff like that. Different hats, I've got some big hats too that I like to wear so that they keep on the sides of your face. Today I don't have any makeup on, it just has some sunscreen. I'll show you the one I'm wearing today. So during pregnancy, we have to remember there are two different main types of sunscreen. In pregnancy, our preference is for the mineral sunscreens and not the chemical sunscreens. Two main ingredients in mineral sunscreen, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So that's what we want in a sunscreen during pregnancy. We want that mineral type of sunscreen. Mineral sunscreens reflect those UV rays. Chemical sunscreens can actually absorb some of those UV rays. So we want to avoid those during pregnancy. Side note, the chemical ones also are pretty much not gonna be good for the ocean because they can kill the reefs and such like that. And we don't want that. One of the things you can think about too is anything that's clear or spray on is not gonna be a mineral sunscreen. So let's break down some that I have here. They're the good kind. These are the mineral sunscreens. For body, this one right here, CeraVe 50. So two ingredients here, titanium dioxide at 9%, zinc oxide at 7%, mineral sunscreen. Another mineral sunscreen here, we've got zinc oxide at 15%, titanium dioxide at 5%, mineral sunscreen. Mineral sunscreen here, zinc oxide at 7%, titanium dioxide at 9%, mineral sunscreen. All right, those are my three for the body I really like. Then you also have another one, and this one can be, it's a little bit more lightweight, it is oil-free, it's like a, almost like an eraser, but a tube, a stick, a stick, there we go. Zinc oxide, 4.7%, titanium dioxide, 6%, mineral sunscreen. So those are my big ones that I like for full body. This one here, which is nice for the face, is called Pep Start by Clinique. It has zinc oxide 4.0%, titanium dioxide 6.3%. Has a nice little kind of sheerness to it, pretty light. Mineral sunscreen. My absolute favorite for pregnant individuals is this brand in general, in all honesty, and this particular one for the face. So this is titanium dioxide 11%, zinc oxide 4%. This has a nice kind of like tint to it. Now when you have a tint for these, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna match with your skin tone or that it's a makeup. It just keeps it from having that bright white kind of nature to it because zinc has that whiteness. Remember like if you ever went skiing and your parents would put that like white tube of like stuff on your face like this and it looks like a football player or something. So this is my favorite here. In fact, if you go to my website, drlexihill.com, you can go at the very top. It says if you want some Globiotic skincare products, you can get 20% off. Their website is globiotics.com really really great product here they have tons of other stuff too this is just their uh, sunscreen one this is what i'm wearing today all i have on today no makeup just that i've got a little age spot on this side but it blends in really nicely it's thick which is you know it kind of gives you a little bit it's not coverage but it gives you that you can tell you have some sunscreen on it makes it feel kind of nice mineral sunscreen now for some chemical sunscreens it makes me kind of sad these are kind of some of my favorite products again this is when we're talking about in pregnancy we don't want to use the chemical ones Elta products do have the chemicals in them. They're not the straightforward mineral sunscreens, even including the UV clear here by them. Whoops. Any of these sprays, this is just a couple of the ones I had here at the house. Banana boat, copper tone, any of these sprays, particularly those that are clear, even the white ones, anything that comes out of an aerosol can is not really gonna be a mineral uh, sunscreen. So just be prepared for that. These have chemicals in them. In case you're curious, we have avobenzone, Homosalate, these are hard to pronounce. Long and short, chemicals, not the zinc and the titanium like we're looking at. Banana boat, chemical sunscreen. <sighs> they smell good, sun bum, chemical. Cute packaging, Kula, chemical sunscreen. Neutrogena, we'd like to think that this one here, mm -mm, chemical sunscreen. Now, it doesn't mean that there aren't other brands that Neutrogena or these other items make, but the ones I'm showing you, definitely chemical sunscreens. Super Goop, this one here in particular, Kind of like when you can spray again most of the sprays again not going to be any type of mineral sunscreen this one has all the chemicals in it so chemical sunscreen and finally someone gave this to me one time they're like oh this is great for face sunscreen and so they actually gave it to me when we were on a deep sea fishing trip i think not the best to use whenever you are in the ocean because chemical sunscreen is not good for the reefs not good for the marine life as well so try to avoid those and don't forget to check out the video I have with an individual from Globiotics that talks about skincare products during pregnancy and particularly talks about sunscreen.
I'm Dr. Lexi wishing you a happy and healthy pregnancy.